In a snowy village in Iceland, Christmas time was nearing, but along with all of the festivities and preparations, people also started to talk about this giant witch who lived in the mountains looking for children to catch and cook in her pot. Eric was a mischievous little boy who laughed in the face of any kid who actually believed it. He was the kind of kid that would tell you that Santa wasn't real. One day he got so annoyed at some of his classmates for thinking the witch was real, he made a bet with them and went out to the forest near the mountain where this witch lived, challenging her to show herself. But then, unexpectedly, out of the silence, a sharp cackle boomed through the air, and Eric's heart leaped in his chest. In a clearing, he saw her, a giant witch-like person with wild eyes and a crooked staff. And when she sniffed the air, her gaze pierced through the shadows where Eric hid. Their eyes met, and the witch grinned, revealing her jagged teeth. Eric wasn't hurt from again. He was just one of the few kids in Iceland caught by Grilla. Grilla is a Christmas character in Iceland, but she isn't a Christmas character like Sanda or Rudolph, more like Krampus. She looks like something out of a nightmare. She's a giant troll-like witch with many tails and cloven hooves. Her face is always serious or evil looking. She lives in a desolate cave far removed from civilization surrounded by the harsh Icelandic landscape. The howling winds and relentless snow near where she lives seems to represent her haunting laughter. Around Christmas time, Grilla's legend starts to put kids in a panic. She's said to be able to detect if kids are being naughty from far away. In the cold winter nights, she comes down from her mountain lair to start hunting these naughty kids. In one story, she snatches a group of misbehaving children from a village, and as she's leaving, her horrible laugh echoes through the snowy landscapes as she drags them away to her cave. And what does she do with these kids? Well, she's infamous for her stew for a reason. This part of Grilla is not just meant to be shock factor. It's a reminder to kids that there are consequences for misbehaving. But with most things nowadays, some stories show Grilla as a misunderstood character who only interacts with the outside world when she's looking for food or when provoked. Now, Grilla is not just a made-up Christmas character made to scare kids, but a symbol of old fears and the harshness of nature. Her story is part of Icelandic folklore and is a great example of the scarier parts of traditional Christmas tales. She still brings fear to people and is a symbol of the terror of the wild. And if you're a kid in Iceland, please behave. You wouldn't want to be woken up in the middle of the night by a laughing witch outside your house, would you? I've heard she hasn't had anything to eat since last Christmas.